Yeah. So you, you, you two, you are the managers of Chelsea Football Club. Not together. Yeah. You know, you, you both got your yeah. own separate reigns. You got sacked after three years. You've got sacked after three years. But you know, you're currently in the job. Yep. What would you do differently, as soon as you walk through the door, with that club, if you had the options and you had the freedom to make those choices? You go first, Scott. Have I got the option of buying? I'm going to ask first. Have I got the option of like going to the board and saying, "I want this player. I want that player," and they will get them for me? Mm-hmm. I, then I'd focus on number one. I'd focus on that defense. I have to focus on that defense. It doesn't matter anything. Nothing else matters. I need to make sure that defense knows exactly what they're doing every single game, because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, that's the one thing I feel he hasn't done at a club. Sorry, we've we've played. We're, we're play, he's an attacking style football. I understand that, but he's dealing with the defense. That have got two fullbacks that have got no legs. A mm. uh, centre back is a liability at times, and the other centre back can't do the job of the other three defenders by like, by himself. So mm-hmm. that's the first thing I do. Honestly, apart from that, I can't see what else I'd do differently. I obviously I wouldn't take stuff public, but I think Terry had a, a point we spoke about where you can't really. Uh, if anything, I go for the Oligana Solskjaer style of management, where it seems like he's just been with the players at United he's been he's given them a, a morale boost given them freedom yeah and apart from that I can't see what else you do the, the position at Chelsea Football Club at this point is untenable whoever you bring in at this unless it's a Lampard or a a Terry or a an old legend it's nearly untenable I mean, we'll, we'll get onto that after because that's definitely something I want to talk about because I mean Lewis speaking about on the car mm. on the way over right you walk to the front door it is June 2019 <laughs> Sarah's been sacked you now have a job to do at Chelsea Football Club, as well as signing players you want. What else would you do differently to Scott? First thing I'd do is i sort out the winger situation, because we've got two of the oldest wingers in the league. Mm-hmm. One of William and Pedro would have to go. Who would you want? Here's the thing. If William would accept a lesser role, I'd keep him. Because I think his experience, I think him mm-hmm. in championship... Because think about it. Let's look at little things. Like little third round games of the cup. The guy plays like a mini Hazard. Yeah. Let's give him that sort Let's give him that sort of quality. In those smaller games, he could be a lot better. But Pedro's also the oldest. He'd be the more likely to go. Mm-hmm. So I'd keep William, Hudson-Odoi, Pulisic. I'd have Hudson-Odoi and Pulisic fighting over the number one spot. Um, in terms of striker situation... Would, you, would you keep Higuain? Uh, uh, it's just, it's, it ain't been long enough for me to make a call. Yeah. I'd say his movement is still world class. And mm-hmm. if you give him any little bit of space, he will find the net. He's a mm-hmm. quality striker, so I wouldn't be against keeping him. Number one aim would be keeping Eden Hazard. For the defence, I would I'm not gonna lie, David Luiz is a great passer of the ball. His long passes are great, but I feel like it saves him. Because yeah. if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for that, he, him being so rash and those little mistakes that he keeps making is the difference between a world class stri- a defender and a good defender, so you'd mm-hmm. have to go. Um what else would I do? Would you consider direct I'm talking I'm now outside of the squad, I'm looking outside of that. I'm looking mm. at directors of football. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd insist on, okay. on a director for of philosophy, football. I'd play, they call me Mike Bassett for a reason, Lewis. For philosophy, I play a defensive style because the team's more suited to it. Okay. And I play because even when you look at us under Sari, I'm looking at games like Watford away, brilliant on the break. But Man we were trying to play more a more possession based football. At uh, uh, home. Yeah. Like Manchester City at home as well. Yeah, I, was gonna, if you, if, I know you're talking about home, yeah. don't worry. We're not talking about yeah. the away game. <laughs> no, yes. but the, the fact says the team is built for a defensive team on the break. So if, especially with the lack of time that Sari has right now, mm-hmm. I'd stick to what the team's good at. But the thing is, that's not what sari has been brought to do. That's why he's not doing that. So if he does get sacked, it's stupid from the board because that's another payout that they're going to have to do and that's more money gone with a two-year potential transfer ban on the line. I also this wanna... is what I mean by we're short-sighted. I want to point out as well that that will be even more money because we had to sign, like, wasn't it a six million release clause to get sorry because he was technically still under contract Eight. at Napoli. Eight. So that'll be more money wasted. Now here's the thing. sorry knows how to deal with tough managers. He's, he's dealt with the Napoli owner for the three Laurentiis. years. <laughs> Yeah, no, and he no, openly uh, criticised him in the media. Yeah, de- I mean, De, de-, de Laurentiis is a different animal to to this, this this Chelsea board. He is a nut job. I think that's the way. No, to but put this it. is the thing. I think Sorry can cope. He can, but what I'm saying is, there's there's ineptability and being mental. The, I think I think it's a case of this Chelsea board. To be honest, comes across as inept. It comes yeah. across as apart from Abramovich, but we don't see him. It comes across as they have no competence in their job. We'll see, and I, I said yesterday, I put a tweet out saying, look, you know, if you think that this squad can get top four, if you think that you know, there aren't more deep-rooted issues at this club, then, you know, you're blind. 
uh, I put Marina out. That's that's my opinion. Anyway. I saw that, yeah. and I've been that for years. You look through the comments of that. I'm being called stupid, dumb, all this type of stuff because I've said Marina out because she's she's the mouthpiece of Ryan Abramovich. She works alongside him. She is his number two, but she is not the overarching. I, I, I personally wouldn't say that she is Roman 2.0. No. She's not. She she doesn't look like the type of person she that the, when the, when when the play, when it's all going wrong and um, Roman's not available, she doesn't look like the type of person who's going to come down on him like a bloody sledgehammer. Yeah, and I, exactly. But this is it. And I mean, she, I don't I don't have confidence in her in her I, job. Look, she's great at getting deals across the line. Absolutely. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I think she's superb at that. And that's that was people's argument after this transfer. Like Pulisic, uh, Higuain. You know, we made some we made some good signings. You know, it's it looks solid, and she's. Giving herself a saving grace, but again, this is the short termness. This is the this is the fickleness which I always talk about. And you know, if you look at my track record about being right about stuff when it comes to negative stuff at Chelsea and having a glass half empty mentality, eighty percent of the time I'm I'm pretty bang on. Um, Marie, this this club needs a director of football, and that's my opinion. So if I was to run the club, for example, director of football, mm -hmm. I'd work alongside them because let's be honest, Chelsea don't have the manager role anymore. You yeah, sign a contract, you head, head coach, coach yeah. and that was the issue with Conte. If Conte had signed a, a contract which is manager, that'd be fine. But you'd have a director of football, big fan of either, whether it was Belletti and Michael Ballack we were linked with, Balak, big fans yeah. of them, Ballack especially. He looks like he's got his head screwed on, he's knows, he's uh, got a large knowledge of a few leagues, mm. and yeah, he's, he's worked, I think, I want to say he's worked with other clubs, with like other clubs in similar roles, I could be wrong, yeah. or he's at least worked alongside, like... Well, he was he was Leverkusen he was, he was and like a player Bayern coach Munich. at Leverkusen yeah. at the end. So I think it's a case of you know, this this is a guy who understands Chelsea Football Club as well. Mm. Yeah. Cares about the club. You know, he, he did a fucking fan cam with me after after we beat Everton five 0 He just stopped and yeah, right, let's go. I'm like, Oh, okay. I, this, there's nothing I can't ask you, nothing like that. So no no, just go. I miss when we were on the other end of scores like that. Yeah, I I miss I miss that as well. But it's kind yeah. of a case of like, look, this is a it's a big thing. Wow, there's 1.3 thousand people watching. Thank you very much for all you that are watching as well, by the way. Hi. So, um but yeah, it's kind of a case of I'd have a director of football. I'd, I'd want to be guaranteed security. That is the big thing for me. I'd say, look, I want two years, and I'd go in with that mentality straight away, saying, look, I, I'd, go, I'd bulldoze straight away. I'd say, look, this, the, these are the issues. This is this, this is that, this is that. The reason Fergie did so well at United is because he had absolute control. If I sign a contract, I'm not signing it as head coach. Mm. And that is where every manager at Chelsea for the past three years, four years, has gone wrong. That's why Conte didn't work. That's why Sarri's not working currently because of again the short termism of the board of how we operate as a club Mourinho went in with the manager role and it was on that was written on the contract but he wasn't giving it mm. so you know there's been massive issues but that's what I do anyway